Hello viewers, welcome to another video. In this video, I will going to show you how to solve error no power supply specified for net. Also, I will going to configure the power rail to remove this error. Finally, in this video, I will also going to show you how to use power terminal, positive and ground terminals in order to create schematic. The main advantage of using power terminals to create schematic is that whenever you transfer your schematic to design PCB, the power terminal of all the components that are used in the PCB are automatically connected with the positive and ground terminal of the PCB and you don't have to connect the positive and ground terminal of each components manually. Let's start by connecting a power source DC source 5 volt with this LM35 temperature sensor. Under the generator mode you will find a DC source. Place it here and connect with the VDD pin of this LM35. Enter 5 volts. Now run the simulation. Here you can see that the schematic is working fine and the simulation is running properly. But what is the problem with this schematic? So if you transfer this schematic into your PCB by directly clicking PCB layout, you can see here that the positive terminal of this sensor is not connected with anything. So as you have lots of components in the PCB, therefore it is a very good practice that the power terminal and the ground terminal of all the components will automatically be connected with the supply of PCB. So what in that case, what we have to do, we have to use power and ground terminals in the schematic. So let's do it. Delete the DC source. Here in the terminal mode, select power and connect with the positive terminal of this sensor. Now you can label this string by using power. Let's say I name it as power. Now when I simulate this type of error occur that is no power supply specified for net power since I have labeled it as power in the power rail configuration. So how to remove this error first? For this select the design. In the design tab select configure power rail. Now you can see that in the power rail there is a ground which is 0 volt by default and there is a VCC or VDD which is 5 volt. Here this power terminal is unconnected. It is not connected with any power net either positive or ground. So just select this power and add in the net. Now the power terminal is automatically assigned 5 volts. Click OK. Now run the simulation once again. Now you can see that your schematic is working properly and there is no error related to power rail configuration. Now stop the error and again go to PCB layout. Now you can see here, let me zoom, that pin 1 of U2 is connected with the power pin or positive pin of this U1. So in this way, all the components power terminals are automatically connected in the PCB whenever you select auto routing. So this saves you a lot of time and this is a very good professional method to design PCB. So I hope you understand how to configure power rail in the Proteus. 
and how to use power terminal in order to properly design PCB. I hope you like this video. For more interesting videos, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.